All right. So thank you all for being a part of um, the Woman Alive interviews. I am here with the beautiful Rhonda. And um, it's so much that I'm excited to learn about her perspective and her ideas from these questions. And um, even the share moment, I'm sure that it will encourage your heart. So the first question that I have for you is, what does being a fully alive woman look like to you? Mm. Well, to be a fully alive woman, it for me, mm -hmm. is to totally walk in my purpose. To actually, you know, all things embodied, you know, the look is together. Uh, uh, my speech is together. My actions are on point. You know, how I convey myself and communication with other people, no matter who I'm talking to, you know, no matter who, whether I'm talking to my, my sister friend or I'm talking to the CEO of a company, my communication is on point. I feel like I can, you know, I can carry on a full blown conversation for, you know, for hours at ease. That's what it means to me. Beautiful, beautiful. It sounds like you're saying being congruent, like you like your look, your feel, your communication, and everything yes. is on point. Yes, on yes, point. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. It, that sound alive, like that sound. Yeah, yes. you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I say, you know, you walk in the room and own it. It's like, okay, I'm here now. Yes, let let let, let the things commence. I'm here. Yes, I've arrived. I'm, I've arrived. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've arrived. Yes. All right. So question number two, what mm -hmm. do you believe the greatest challenges are for women? Mm -hmm. Our greatest challenge is feeling that we are enough. Mm -hmm. I feel that women second guess themselves a hundred times over, mm -hmm. and, you know, in, in, in a minute. I mean, we'll say, you know, uh, is my hair right? Should, I should have done this. I should have done that. Or, you know, um, if you're if you're at work and you're about, you know, just to say you're going to have a meeting. Well, you know, how should I start it? Should I say that we 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 overthink ourselves because we're constantly comparing ourselves to someone else. And it's OK, you know, to look up to people. I, I, you know, it's nothing wrong with having uh, people that you uh, it's um, admire and want to be like, but we 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 compare ourselves to, I mean, to the to the to the umpteenth power. You know what I mean? We just we just overthink a thing, and that and that tears down our confidence, ourselves. Yeah. You know, we tear ourselves down too much, mm -hmm. and instead of just you know be who we are, accept that this is it. I'm enough. You know, I I, I have this. But we don't. We 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 second guess ourselves too much, and then that attributes to our uh, tearing ourselves down. So if somebody else comes along and say just the least little thing, we just fall apart, you know, because we we don't we don't we don't we don't have that confidence in our own self like we should. And I think you know society plays a big part in that. Of course, you know even in the work you know, the work arena. We're, we're always, you know, the least paid when it comes to a man, you know, a, a man can, you know, just, it, it, it's very, it's still in this day and age, it's still prevalent. When the young lady um, just got into the NFL, look at her pay, she got drafted and what she is getting paid at the top for a woman, a woman fails in comparison to her, her male counterpart. So we're still uneven here. And so, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's so many areas. And I, I think that's that's one of our, we have so many challenges to overcome still in this age of 2024. You're right. You're right. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's kind of, it overlaps some of the things other women have said. Mm -hmm. And one of the ladies said, having an equal seat at the table. Not mm, just a seat, it. but an mm. equal seat. So that corresponds with what you're saying, and and yeah, it definitely it makes a it makes a a difference. And um, I believe what we're tapping into and what we're going the next level we're going to 
and mm -hmm. woman alive and dealing mm -hmm. with the, the confidence, cash and influence sections is where that we're in a position where we don't even have to look for a seat. We create seats. You That's understand it. what I'm saying? Yes. We create yes. those equal footings for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that's where we um, tap into our superpower, our brilliance as women and, and get some stuff moving um, in the right direction. So this is good. This is good. So the next part, it's geared toward me. And this is what can you say about the founder of Woman Alive, who happens to be Moa? <laughs> I don't know how much time we have, so I'll try to condense it as best I can. What can I say about you? From the very first, first moment I met you, uh, you have been just a consistent ray of sunshine, a positivity. And, you know, one thing I like about you, and I think we this is something that's similar in us, we never, you never give off uh, an aura that you're down no matter what's, mm -hmm. what's going on with you. Yeah. Never seen you in despair. Um, you always, you know, you, you, you put that face on and you give, you're ready to give positive uh, feedback to someone, someone asks you a question, you know, or they make a statement about, oh, you know, I don't know what to do about this. You are there ready with an answer. And, you know, you could be dealing with some of the very same things or something, something worse, but we would never know it. Uh, you are, I consider you accomplished, intelligent, um, just a wealth of knowledge. You know, it amazes me how I'll make a statement about something and you'll just go off and like, okay, you can do this and the other. I'm sitting there like, what? How did she get, you know, how did she get that out of that? You know, so, and, and, I'm, and I'm not over, um, I'm not overwhelmed by that. I'm not threatened by that. I'm amazed by that, right? So it's like, well, if I, you know, I've got this, I've got this, this, this situation. I'm gonna call Michelle because you know what? She, she got a way out of this. I mean, she can talk me through this and it will make so much sense when she says it. I can be pondering over it for a week. I don't know what to do. I talk to you in five seconds. It's like, all you gotta do is do this and the other. And then they're like, oh, the light bulb is on. All that makes sense. And so <laughs> I think that is phenomenal that I am so impressed by that because that's just who you are. You you are a, a natural problem solver. If, if I if, you know, if I could say that, it's just you you have the answers and and you're not boasting about it. You're not bragging, you know, oh, I know this. And it's just who you are. And 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 that is just so phenomenal. And you know, people have said to me, well, you know, I could just say to talk to you, you could say this and the other. And I think nothing other, but you and you're the same. You say stuff like it just rolls off your back like water off the deck, like, yeah, let's do this and the other. I'm like, huh? You know, <laughs> and it would take me a year to come up with that. And I talk to you in five seconds, you're like, just do that. That's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> So I appreciate that about you. I think that it's just phenomenal that you can put a person at ease with little effort because it's just who you are. And um, this, uh, the, you know, this woman alive is, is phenomenal. And all I can say, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you're, that you're spearheaded. It's just like, that, that's what I expect. I was like, okay, you know, and, and when you ask me, you know, I want you to be saying the other, I'm like, okay, I'm like, you know, I, when you put the, the survey out, you'll take this little quiz, whatever. I did, I didn't think nothing of it because I, I know it's going to be something phenomenal because she's behind it. And so, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate your feedback. I enjoy doing life with you. It's just, it's something <laughs> about, you know, it's, I'm telling you, I'm almost, and I'm, I'm not the person to be speechless, right? But I am trying to find the right thing to say, because <laughs> it's just, I enjoy doing life with you. I just, I just think that's, that's a good way to say it. That is good. You know what? And I feel the same way because, you know, there are so many times we have uh, relationships that just take so much work. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, and when you're with someone that is just, oh, I really feel like I could just breathe. I can just say stuff and I don't have, oh, did she take this the wrong way? You know, it, it just makes such a big difference. And so I appreciate you saying that and I totally concur. 
I love it. And you know, um, you know, God knew what he was doing when he when he had us meet all those yes. years ago. I never knew. Yes. But yes. you know, but God, but God knew. So I'm so appreciative of you. And I'm so thankful to God for our connection, how we met and have you know stayed connected throughout the, the years. Yes, yes, I absolutely agree. And the last part is what do you want people to know about you? And this mm. can be any area of your life. I mean, personal, business, ministry, relational, um, future things that you're planning and getting prepared for and want people to join, whatever it is you want people to know about you. I want people to know that I am a survivor and I'm an overcomer of so many things. And, and know that it took a lot for me to get to this spot and it was and, and it started with me it took a lot for me to uh delve into to analyze and dissect and acceptance and many 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 curves have been thrown at me through life you know 62 so there's a lot of things that have been thrown at me. And, and I even stop in amazement. And it's like, I, I'm still here. And I still have my right mind. And I recognize and I give honor to God because it's because of him. And that when you really, when I realize that he definitely has a purpose and a plan, it makes all the things that are still yet happening or still, you know, that I'm still fighting against all the more easier because I know it's with his purpose. It's with his plan that I'm doing this. And as the word said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And trust me when I tell you, it's because of his strength. It's not by my power or my might, yeah. not at all. Yeah. But it's through him that I live, move, and have my being. So I, I if, if I say nothing, that that's me. That's, that's what, and everything that I do is because of him. He's given me the strength to do so I can move forward with the plans that he has given me, um, you know, future conferences, future collaborations, uh, future businesses that he has already told me to do. In spite of, in the midst of, I can do those things. And I am excited that he chose me and I want to make him proud. I want to please him at all costs. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for sharing.